censorship is something I am strongly opposed to. And the recent debacle with video games and all of this stuff, because we'll be here forever talking about that, but there is something people are missing in the discussion. And the people that are crying on the internet, it's about get people getting off to it. It's not, by the way. Are missing a huge point. My name is Will, I host The Bald Book Geek. If you want uncensored and early access to my content, head over to my Patreon. And if you want exclusive videos and access to my book as I'm writing it, uh, become a member or Patreon. But don't feel you have to. I'm just saying, don't feel you have to. I'm trying to keep things as even as possible. But anyway, where do we start with this? Oh my God, there's boob physics. Why, why are you crying about it? Also, I, I'm going to come to this in a bit, and I'm not going to jump ahead, but it's just interesting seeing the people crying about it. You know, I'm very anti-sensitivity readers. I'm very anti- it's a, what, predominantly a YA phenomenon, but still, I'm very anti-sensitivity readers. I'm very anti-, anti these things like Sweet Baby Ink and Black Girl Gamers and all of this stuff, because it all just seems to be an excuse to erase, change, and destroy. Japanese games have a certain look. Now, pick on Japanese games. They have a certain look. They have a certain style. But, oh my god, Tifa is showing boobs. We must censor it for the Westerners. Oh, come on. I, I do find that fascinating, that female sexuality is considered so problematic that people want their females in games in burkas at this point. And don't get me started on that whole thing. I mean, Lara Croft... Oh my god, this new model, she looks realistic. Well, no, she doesn't. She looks like a guy in drag. She looks like Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil, and that's not a compliment, and he's a pretty guy. Come on. I'm not even into women, but Lara Croft is Lara Croft. Leave her alone. I find it fascinating to witness this kind of bizarre pro-censorship nonsense. Because, let's be real, it's a slippery slope. A very very, very slippery slope. First it's boob physics and a low cut top. Next, what's next? You know, burkas? <laughs> and I do find the hypocrisy in this quite fascinating. If a character is LGBT, it's like a free for all for these journos. But oh my god, straight men find a woman attractive? We must put her in a burka. It's absurd. It is absurd and it's childish. And I'm going to say something that's probably going to get me a lot of hate, but I don't care. A lot of the people crying about attractive women in games are not particularly attractive themselves. So maybe it's insecurity is showing. But why should video game characters and characters in movies and art and books be censored to make insecure people feel better about themselves? Is that not a discussion we should be having? Like, maybe there's more to this? But that's my theory. That's not fact, that's theory. I mean, as someone that plays games, I do prefer seeing attractive people, but I'll talk about Spider-Man. Spider-Man, the, the most recent one. Was it Spider-Man 2? Whatever it was called. Mary Jane Watson looked like his mother. She looked about 20 years older than him. It, it, it was not good. Like, who thought that was a good idea? She's meant to be stunning. Peter Parker is meant to be cute boy next door and she's meant to be stunning. She's not meant to look like his mother. Like, that actually kind of made me uncomfortable because it was like, is she going to put a collar around his neck soon and lead him around the floor while he calls her mummy? I mean, that was the vibe I was getting. Like, it's, it's fascinating, but it's... I'm sure there's psychology behind this. I mean, I won't name her because she doesn't deserve a name, but that journalist, like, she's complaining about it, but then she sexualized another character in a different article. She has no, I mean, ex chem girl, whatever she was. I really don't take her opinion seriously. But the, and there's not, by the way, there is nothing wrong with that, but you can't be one or the, you know, you, you have to kind of realize that maybe it's not a good look when you're doing stuff and saying stuff that's pro-censorship and there you were getting naked online for money. Just saying. Uh, but we all gotta eat, right? I've, I Do what you want, do what makes you happy, just remember the internet is forever. 
But the the thing that gets me in this whole discussion on censorship, on everything, is just, it's so one-sided. I mean, literally, Twitter the other day was, I would rather be alone with a bear than a man. I would feel safer with a bear. Oh dear God, do you know what the bear would do to you? Do you know what a bear would do to you? And in fairness, there are many men that you could call bears. <laughs> if you know, you know that one. But yeah, I find this whole discussion bizarre. These kids and these journos are so pro-censorship. They want to strip the Japanese-ness out of games. They want to make characters unrecognisable. Everyone must be gay. You know, put a chick in it, make it gay, right? It's so strange. I've never played a video game wanting real-world commentary. I've never played a video game thinking, oh, what is the social commentary on this, on gender and race and all of this stuff? Video games should be video games. Fun. Like, there's been some terrible games. But it's so funny that, you know, these people expect women to be in burkas, but they want men to be shirtless and smooth-chested and muscly. In fairness, muscly, yes, smooth-chested, no. Um, <laughs> bears. Bears. I know this is a weird video, but I'm just kind of hammering in the point that this really weird shift. It's funny that anything remotely masculine is deemed problematic. Anything remotely feminine is deemed problematic. I mean, it's just absurd. It is absurd. And these consultancy groups, these pro-censorship people don't realise that the road they're going down, it might be paved with good intentions, but it doesn't have good intentions. Because it will become a point where, you know, the slightest little thing, where does it end? And I find it fascinating. You, you can't have one and you can't have the other. And I missed the days when video games were fun. Just fun. I know that's a, a strange thing to say, but there is a lot of content. These games come out, they're big AA titles. They're basically played for you. They don't, you know, I'll, I'll pick on Lara because she's in the thumbnail. The Survivors trilogy, I detested. I hated her portrayal in that because she seemed so weak. She had no agency within her story. It all seemed to be happenstance and daddy issues and therapy rather than actual agency within her story. Those early games, Lara went on an adventure because she wanted to and half the time she almost calls the apocalypse. Last revelation, anyone? Ooh, trinket! Ooh, plague of locusts! I mean, I, I find it strange. I find it weird to witness and... She had agency in those stories. And yes, the Legends trilogy, yes, she was looking, she got tied in and roped into events surrounding her father's death. But she was there searching for it. She was looking for clues on her mother, her parents. She was looking for it. It didn't happen by chance. And so many moments where she was walking along a cliff in the Survivor trilogy where it basically was an excuse to load and whatever you did you the games were too easy I don't like running duck and cover shooters at the best of times what I find just sad about the whole thing is that so many people are so dead cert on having their content censored why not meet halfway give us the option I mean it's not that hard Give us the option to turn it on and off. If things make you uncomfortable, let's give it both ways. Why does it have to be one? Why not let adults, adult gamers, choose how they want to enjoy their games? I don't care if you want to get off to it, as long as you're having fun, right? But, I mean, in all certainty, all joking aside, I think it's just a very slippery slope because it started with this. Where does it end? People are labelling it Gamersgate 2.0 and all of this. And it's really not. It's not about representation. It's not about diversity. It's not about any of those buzzwords. It's not about misogyny. It's about people just sick of being told and treat, told what they can and can't do. 
can and can't say, can and can't enjoy. If you criticise a game, it's weaponized against you. I mean, also, just a side note, stop holding our hands in games so much. I know what buttons to push. Stop telling me. The, <laughs> the whole thing. Like, treat your audience like adults. We can make a decision for ourselves. And these community managers, these companies, all of this stuff, go away. Let us have fun. Like, you know, what was the last person that was pro-censorship and burnt books? Oh yes, he had a little moustache in the 1930s Germany. Let, let's be real here. It's a very slippery slope to the point of there will come a point where it's no return and people are pushing back. They're pushing back with their wallets. They're pushing back with everything. And I think that's a good thing. I think censorship is gross. I think it's dangerous. I think censorship as a whole is extremely damaging. And there is a major problem here. You know, you had a Twitch streamer put a hit out on someone. Which I... Well, not literally. But, you know. And other people did it too. Like... And they won't get... They'll get a slap on the wrist. They'll get banned for seven days and then they'll change their TSO. Because it's Twitch. Like, the absurdity of these people. But if someone did it to them, they would cry victim. They would be the victim. It's not a joke you should make, right? But no, I think censorship as a whole, I think the idea of treating your audience like children, I think the destruction of media that we consume is absurd. I think as as people who create stuff, as people who play games, I think my whole belief is this censorship would... I think it's just this dangerous slope. And I keep saying that, but where does it end? We're already in an age where films have been edited and, you know... But treating your audience like children, treating us like infants, is not a way to sell us a game. We're sick of being told that we're wrong for not liking a game. I don't care how much hard work these people put into a game. If your game's crap, it's crap. And I will say it, and I get that. Well, you should be nice. These people won't know. No, you have the right to criticise media you consume. And watching PlayStation right now is just absurd. But just this whole situation. It's that slope. It will, it will get worse if it's allowed to carry on. We shouldn't be censoring. Meet halfway. Give us the option. Put an option in the menu. Censored or uncensored? I mean, you could turn blood off in games once. Like, do that again. Simple, right? But no, they won't do that because, you know, we're infants. We need to be told what to think and feel and what we need to consume. It's just gross on every level. So I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you're okay. I'm sorry for the random disjointed nature of this. Like, sub, and do the usual. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.